It's 2.30 in the morning. It's officially September 1st. September 1st at last. And I was quite busy tonight. So that's why I'm extra happy. Extra savings coming my way. But let's, look at, let's take a look in the kitchen because the last customer just left. These are washed. Okay, there's a little bit left here. I don't mind. Picked up a little bit around here as I could while working, but the sinks are yikes. By knowing me, I'm not afraid of dishes. I've done a lot worse. I might just leave them like that and do them tomorrow. But it's time to treat myself. After all that work, it's time for treat. Do you guys want to see how I do what I treat myself? The extreme cheap steak weight. Even after making money, a lot of people just go, like my husband, let's go out for drinks. He was drinking here and he's gone to sleep. But now it's my turn to treat me for working, making money. Are you ready? Ice cubes. A whole glass full of ice cubes. Nope, I don't buy them. I make them myself. I will not pay for three dollars or three euros for a bag of ice cubes. Orange juice. Let me just look. Don't want to spill it. Perfect. But it's not filled all the way to the top, right? Somebody bought water and didn't drink it all. It's like up to here. It's up to, let me see. Like up to here water. Why would someone buy a bottle of water, 150, and not take it with them? I usually do half and half, but since I made money, yep. More orange juice, less water with a ton of ice cubes. I even added a straw. Cheap, refreshing, and ice cold. Ice, ice cold. Now that's a reward. RV, here I come in 10 years. The way that I'm going, in 10 years I'm getting an RV. Okay, 20. I have to pay down that first. But I'm getting the RV. I am a cheap, cheap, cheap person. Thank God I still smoke. Now if I quit this, then I'll be a thousand percent cheap steak. But better safe than sorry. I want my savings to grow. So let me just have my juice, have a cigarette, and go wash some dishes because I need sleep. And tell you all about why I like being different than most human beings. Tomorrow morning. Till then. Good night for me. So I'll see you guys in a couple of hours and a couple of seconds for you. Good morning, everyone. It's officially, officially, with a sun out, September 1st. It's a Sunday, a lovely day. And I'm exhausted. It might be 11.30. Well, it's almost 12 anyways. And today's topic, why I like being different. Most moms or women here in Greece are housewives, stay at home, cook, clean, that's about it. Raising kids and always listening to what men have to say. You trying to get my Are you trying to get my phone straight? Because the stand broke in August and I still haven't gotten one. But anyways, let's continue. Why I like being different? I don't like asking my husband, and I never did, not even my parents, like get me this, get me that. I was always, always independent. I like having my own money. And no, getting an allowance from your husband or your parents or whatever was never enough for me. And I don't want an allowance. 
When I was younger, I was um, sewing these fabrics for my mom for her work and for my aunt, so I could make my own allowance. I didn't. I never liked hand me out. Like, here you go, have your allowance. It was a no. I didn't mind getting it from my parents, but it was a no for me. Coming to Greece, I did have a lot, not a lot, but for a 17 year old, I had some cash in the bank. I did go spend it for my first actual vacation in Greece. Because I was coming here for a couple of months going back. I never actually decided to stay. I was supposed to go back when I'm 18, but I never did. Long story made short, stupidity of mine. But anyways, that's when I spent a lot of money, just to buy clothes and stuff like that. When I was 17, I did buy a lot of expensive clothes. <coughs> like I was saying, when I was 17 years old, I did spend a lot of money. I bought boots that cost... 200 and 250 dollars then and I was lying to my parents my mom at least telling her the boots cost 60 70 and she was like they're too expensive for you but I was it was like working like I said I was sewing I was helping my dad with his restaurant washing the dishes or going getting him things from the bakery when needed and the funny part is because we had a waitress, my dad had a waitress in that fast food restaurant in Montreal. Um, she would pay me, my father would pay me to be at the store, like a little allowance. And the waitress would pay me to wash the dishes for her. Can you imagine? That started when I was 15, but I continued going to the store until he closed it. So I was always different. Coming to Greece at 17, I met my husband at some point, got married. Thought he knew what he was doing, but discovered he doesn't. And I was always different. I always wanted to have a savings account again. Because at some point, just to get married, we closed my savings account. Yeah, there are times when I want to dress that costs a lot and because I did have the savings and always did when I was then younger way too young not even an adult not even an e legal adult I could always get it because I had savings what happened to that person well she decided to follow George's rules George's this George's that and no nothing was working Now I decided to go through my rules. I was begging him to help me open the store two years in a row. He was like, no. No, you closed the once at the end. You closed the store up at the, up at the village that you had opened. You only kept it for a year and a half. No, I'm not helping you. I'm going to him. The store I closed so I can go to Canada in 2015. Like this one. That was really stupid of me. But it wasn't. It got me thinking again. It actually helped me find the me. Then the store up in the village, I opened it, but I had to close it because I was getting... They were calling the police on me and a whole bunch of other services just to get me in trouble. I wasn't getting in trouble, but I was, the police was taking me over the police station in the police car. Uh, to have my fingerprints to do this, to do that, and see that I'm legal and back again to Yaldra. So I was like, oh, I can't stand this anymore. And I did start drinking a lot then. When I mean a lot, a lot. And I continued till this year. So I did get myself in really big trouble. Closing that store, I didn't work for a year and a half again. I had savings, so I didn't mind. He didn't have anything. <laughs> but I remember enjoying myself most of the, like, all summer, like in August, 
I went five, six times out for drinks his way. I did go out three, four times for uh, dinners. I thought that was normal. Because everybody here goes like in August at least 15, 20 times. And some nights I would just sit down at the beach and read books. And people were like, uh, even now they tell me, it was the year that you had your psychological problems and you weren't normal. It's like, you know, I actually enjoyed it. Just sitting at the beach, because there was light at some chairs. It was the only time the chairs were empty, because there weren't any customers sitting there, taking a, going swimming in the ocean. It was enjoying a good book. Then that summer passed, then next summer came, I started opening the store. That was last year. And, but I still kept my old habits, not that much, but a little bit. I was becoming, I was frugal and a cheap steak on a lot of things. But I did keep some bad habits, like really bad habits. And slowly, 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 I kept those out too. But I kept the drinking. This winter, even before the 365 days of frugal living, I started cutting things out. Because they wouldn't make me happy. And when 365 days of frugal living started, I started like extreme savings, doing things even, like some days I would just, like the garbage, I would just take the bag, take it out and not even think about it. Not every time, most of the time I would put it in boxes. But there were days it's like, no, I'm putting it away, just taking it to the garbage like that. Then this year got me thinking with the 365, if I could save one extra penny here, would it make a difference? And another penny here and another penny there, like every penny did count and it did make a difference. People are thinking and they're telling me, they're not just thinking. They're, assu well, they're assuming that I'm weird and I probably am. And I'm, a, and I'm proud of being weird. Being different doesn't mean that you're the wrong one. It could be that you're the right one and everybody else is wrong. Who said of a thousand people, if one person is extremely, extremely frugal and weird, or an idiot, or whatever else, they're thinking of me that I'm the wrong. I could be the right. When I got the humongous tattoo on my back for this village, it was like, no, 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 mom, you said, your age it's like no i wanted it i got it and when they see my new hair the way i'm gonna dye it they're gonna go uh that's me sometimes just being different makes you stand out i don't want to stand out too much but i don't want to become the sheep why be the white sheep when you can be the black sheep at the end i think the black sheep has more fun has a better savings account and of course I'm continuing just getting interrupted a lot a lot of people find it funny that I still cook for one or two people the people that's an extra five six ten or twelve they're cooking for one yeah for one person that's an extra six in my income even if I don't do it every day. I don't get that six every day or that five every day. I need a hundred for my savings, a hundred and five for my savings account each month, right? There you go. That's it. It's simple. It's 25. I have to give 25 servings to get that extra 105. And you're going to say, but there's... continuing I don't know why I'm getting interrupted either the phone goes dead something goes wrong but as, as I was saying and you're gonna say but 25 servings yeah it is your savings for that month so I'll keep it going as much as possible to make as much as I can so I'll make sure I have every month in the winter to pay the 105 down right we're putting it in savings it's like you have to it's mandatory <laughs> but anyways are you going to say, well, the chicken, the rice, the vegetables, everything costs. 
but I do make cheap meals and I do not make a lot. And as you've seen, if you've been watching from the beginning, the past year or year and a half, all my meals are very, very frugal, mindful of spending. So some people, some people, not everyone from this village, like a couple who have watched my videos, they're like, you're such a cheap steak. Are you normal? It's like, I'm normal for me. <laughs> I'm not normal for you. I never intended to be normal for you. I tried being normal for you, but it didn't work out for me. <clears throat> I think I got a cold. <laughs> but anyways, being normal for myself, what I think is normal, guess what? It's working out better. So yes, I do like being a weirdo. I do being like the black sheep of this village, the world. And I know there's more black sheep like me. You have to find your way that works for you. Not my way, nobody other way. Nobody, no other person's way. It's your way. I like being weird. I like being different. And it's working out perfectly for me. So till tomorrow, See you guys for another 365 days of vlogging about frugal living, my life, my store, and every little thing in between. And it never fits in the title. <laughs> Bye, everyone.